Mary Me, Annie here. Welcome back to the Flow of the Right series. We have made advance and we have blessed and cleansed the elemental symbols on our altar. Now, the first casting is making an offering of those elements. Let me talk about this reference to first casting. I'm sure you have all heard the concept of casting three times. Three times round. That has many different meanings, very different from practitioner to practitioner. It can literally, when you cast the circle, walking it three times around to complete an act of casting. So three times around is a casting. It might mean walking three times around, but each time slightly wider in your circulation to create a circle casting that honors the three planes of existence. Or it might be as I practice it, that there are three actions we take on which are solidifying our circle. For me, the first time round, the first casting, is making an offering of the elements to the quarters. The second casting, the second time round, is a spurging and sensing the circle. And the third casting, the third time around, is the actual laying down, the casting of the circle. So in what I'm going to suggest now, you're going to see my way of doing three times round. Of course, you'll decide what it is for you. I group these together as three times round, not only because it's something I was taught and have practiced for a long time, but because it triggers in my mind the sanctity of each of these three actions that I am indeed in the middle, in the process of separating my circle out from the mundane world, that place between the mundane and the etheric worlds, the place I'm going to do my magics. So the first step for me is offering the elements to the quarters. The offerings as symbols on the altar have been blessed. And I shared how I did that in the last video, the previous video, the blessing and cleansing of the elemental symbols. In a communal circle, either the priestess or the maid would take up the symbol from the altar of air and fire and walk to each of the four quarters of the circle, rising it up, raising it up and making an offering to it. Remember when I told you when we sanctify and bless those elemental symbols, we're acknowledging their physical presence in our circle, and then we are elevating that to the level of the sacred. So we blessed it in the physical world, and then in this step of offering it to the elements, we raise it up to each of the four corners. We are then, in our magical minds, offering up that element to its energy, and asking its energy to become one with the circle. Its energy recognizes its earthly counterpart. So as I said, traditionally, the maid would offer air and fire by taking them in her hands, offering up to each of the four corners. Why her? Because either the maid or the priestess, as a female in circle, would offer the projective male elements. That's air and fire. And when she was done, the priest or the knight to circle would take up water and earth and go to each of the four quarters and offer them up. Therefore, that symbolic offering by the male of the receptive or female elements to the quarters. We're alone, though. We're practicing as a solitary. We might think of a couple different ways to do it. We could make the offering right there at our altar, picking up our symbols of air and fire and offering them up above our altar. Remember we've talked about the altar as the cosmos, that expanse of the universe made present in our small circle. We could do it right there over our altar. Or we could move around the area that's going to be sanctified as our circle and make an offering of those elements to each of the four quarters. It's a matter of personal preference. Also, would we want to take them around one at a time? Take our incense and offer it to all four corners. Take our candle or our charcoal, whatever we're using for our fire element symbol, to all four corners. We want to do each one individually. Do you want to do just the projective and then just the receptive? In other words, hold uh, symbols of air and fire 
to all four corners, then come back and pick up the water and the earth and offer the receptive elements to all four quarters? Or do we want to do them all at once? I've taken recently to doing them all at once. I do offer them to the quarters, but I have a particular plate that I put each of my elemental symbols on. And then I take that plate to each of the quarters in turn, starting with east, raise them up, raise it up, thereby raising up all four symbols of the element to that quarter and offering them. I don't have words that I offer as I make that offering to each of the four quarters. For me, it is an acknowledgement when I raise those elements up that I'm inviting the power of the element to come to the circle. In a way, I'm offering up a mirror, a reflection, a portal, a link between the physical element and the energetic element. I simply put all of my symbols of the elements on that one platter together, stand up, face east, and say three times round, I call upon the power of the elements. Because as I reference, this is the first of the three times round, the three castings in the way I cast. If I'm going to share the whole of it, I don't say those words, I actually chant those words. So imagine me standing with a platter, all four elements on it, taking it to east and raising it up, and I sing. Three times round, I call upon the power of the elements. And I make that same offering to south, to west, and to north. I just have a habit personally that at the beginning of each of the casts I speak or sing that particular line. It reminds me that it is part of a whole that is a trifold whole. Individual but connected as one powerful act of casting my circle. So we have blessed and cleansed the elemental symbols on our altar and then we have made an offering of them. But what's important behind this offering, no matter how we decide to do this, is we are acknowledging that the energetic aspects of, that, of those elements will now join our circle, specifically drawn to it by recognizing themselves in the physical symbols of the elements that we have offered. The next step in casting the circle the second time round is sensing and aspurging the circle. Until then, I wish you mirth and reverence. Merry part.